It's very good of you to speak to us, Dan. Especially after we lost your grand's ruby. And we're very grateful for you giving us the chance to sell this lamp. And we'd be even more grateful if we could stop the car for a minute and run out of breath. Thank you. <laughs> and when we've sold the lamp, you'll lend us a ruby just like Grand's. Because yeah. Paul wants to use it to smoke out the person who sold hers. Personally, I think a fire would be better. <laughs> oh, well, thank you very much indeed. And I'd just like to say... We... Very kind. Very kind indeed. Well, I suppose we'd better go and sell this lamp. I wonder why you wanted to get rid of it? Oh, he was very clear on that point. He was? Yes, he said... Oh, 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 oh. Ah, yeah, of course he did, yes. Come on, then. Where are we going? The fair. Have we got time for that? I thought you wanted to sell the lamp. Antiques fair. All oh, right. Won't we need more things to sell than just the lamp, though? Dead right. Keep up. We're almost there. I don't see why I can't carry the lamp. You're quite right. It's wrong that one of us should have to carry so much. Here. Oh! That's it. Come on, we haven't got time for a break. Break? I think I've got several. I'm sorry, it's out of the question. But you must. No, I mustn't. What are we going to tell Dan the van? Dan the van? Did you say Dan the van? Do you know Dan? I know of him. I'll give you the use of our very best pitch. Oh, that's very kind, but we're not bothered about playing football. We just want to sell the lamp. Yes, quite so. Anyway, you can set up in the corner. Oh, thank you very much. Sorry about the footy. Maybe later after we've sold the lamp. Hi, Jeannie. Uh, are you the manager? Ah, uh, yes, dear. The cake stall's over there. Jeannie Kilpatrick, the electrician. Thank goodness you're here. It's the lights. I can see. I'd better take a look at the generator, I suppose. Is that the last box? No, there's another one outside. Huh. There. What do you think? I thought I'd set the stall up so as to emphasise Dan's lamp. <laughs> hey, you make a pantomime out of everything you do. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, yes, you do. Oh, no, I don't. See, you're at it again. I'm going to have to do something about these lights. Here, see what you can do about selling that lamp while I'm away. a nice lamp, sir. It's a wonderful lamp. Antique. Just have a look at that. What do you think? Whoa! Generator! Marvellous! Now, where do I start? Thank you. Must be a bit grubby. Ah! Huh. Let me see. in this lamp. There was a blinding flash and you appeared. Yeah, that's why I'm here. You're not how I imagined. Yeah. Your clothes, they're all sort of... Functional. I suppose you're right. But you are a genie. The genie. Not much I can't fix, I tell you. OK, then. I wish, I wish I had a piece of cake. Oh! A 
Amazing. Well done, Jeannie. Uh, she's vanished. Oh, well, what can you expect from Jeannie's? It's a nice bit of cake, though. I might have preferred Victoria sponge. No, I'm sorry. It's not for sale. What are you doing? I'm busy not selling the lamp. Not selling the... I do apologise for my brother. He's a sandwich short of a picnic, if you know what I mean. What do you mean? I was just explaining to the nice people how I'd forgotten to make up your packed lunch. Oh. What are you doing? We're supposed to be selling that lamp. What will Dan say? He'd say... Oh. He'd be ruder than that. Remember what he did when you broke one of his chess pieces? Oh, yes. I found a little horse's head in my bed that day. Little horsey? It was a night. No, it was the middle of the day. Hopeless, just like your attempts to sell that lamp. You wouldn't say that if you knew it was a genie's lamp. I wouldn't, but I don't, and it isn't, so I won't. But if it wasn't, you did, but you were sure you wouldn't, wouldn't you? You would stop talking rubbish. OK, that's your job. And it's your job to fetch in the last of the boxes. Be sure you don't sell that lamp. That genie still owes me two wishes. Genie. this regulator cable for the moment. Very clever, I'm sure. It's just a temporary measure, but it should keep your lights OK while I get the generator fixed, as long as no-one messes around with it. Oh, don't worry. I can't imagine anybody do that. Oh, oh not that lump again! Jeannie? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> what do you know? It really works. Yeah, we well, can make sure no one fiddles with it. I have got other things to do. The genie's work's never done, eh? Well, I'm planning to knock off at three. Three? Ooh, I better be careful then. Um... I wish. I wish. I wish I had all the money in the world. <laughs> for all the money in the world. Oh, I see. All the money in the world money box. I must be more careful of what I wish for. Oh, it's you two again. I suppose you're after the lamp, eh? <laughs> well, I'm sorry, it's not for sale. No, it's, um, it's gone off. Passed its sell-by date, that's it. Let me offer you something in compensation. How about a one-piece jigsaw? Only one piece missing. It's not the only thing with one piece missing, is it, Paul? And I'll throw my brother in for use as a garden gnome at weekends. No? All right, please yourself. I thought you wanted to sell the lamp. What? Sell a lamp with a genie in it? Only an idiot would do that. Well, you wanted me to sell it. You get the picture now. You can't go selling a lamp with a genie inside that's going to grant our wishes. Wishes? Great. I wish I for... Be, 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 be careful. The genie's going to knock off after three wishes. Oh, dear. I've already had one. I had my cake. Yes, and I've eaten it. That leaves two wishes. No, it doesn't. I used one as well. You shouldn't have wasted yours on a piece of cake. I had two. You had two? Well, that leaves one. That's mine. I'll make a list. Now, what could I wish for? Oh, yes. A big house. Or, um, a fast car. Or, uh, somebody to put Barry out at night. Just a minute. You can't go around making selfish wishes. I wish you... <laughs> you can't catch me like that. I'm not wasting my wishes. Hmm. That should be all right to get on with. Pass me the lamp, Barry. No. What? Well, what would Dan say? I mean, he asked us to sell the lamp for him. Really? Why don't you go away until you think better of things and leave this to me? Right. I'll think better, all right. Torches for sale. Lovely torches. Torches for sale. Lovely torches. Lovely torches. Torches for sale. Hello, old lady. Less of the old Barry. How do you know my name? I don't know your name, Dave. Um, having trouble selling the old lamp, are we? Afraid so. We did have somebody interested, but I think my brother put him off. He probably had his reasons. Yes, greed and selfishness. I think he's learnt his lesson now, though. I'll teach you a lesson in a minute. I mean, uh, 
How would you like to swap one of these shiny new torches for that old thing? Really? I'm sure I could shift this in no time at all. There we are, then. I'll have to think about it, though. Looks like I already have. What a nice old lady. And a lovely moustache. Just a minute. Moustache. Right. Three wishes. Now, let me see. I wish it was a bit brighter in here. I said brighter, not dimmer. Paul, how could you? How could I what? You know very well, Paul Chuckle. Now, give me that lamp. No. Get, give it to you. Get here. off. Give it to you. Get off. I want it. That's mine. Now, shut it. Give it to Jeannie, what are you doing here? We never even rubbed the lamp. No. But where else would an electrician be? Electrician? That's right, Jeannie Kilpatrick. Kilpatrick's electrical services. So there's no wishes then? Wishes? Or lamp. Plunge my hole into darkness, would you? Break my generator, would you? Steal my cakes, would you? Get out! I'll never come back. And you can take this with you. See where all your scheming's got us, Paul? Very sorry, Barry. I don't know what came over me. A sudden lust for power. Well, there won't be any power at all now you've broken the generator. There'll be no selling of this lamp, either. Or getting the ruby. I only wish we could have got somebody to buy it. Hi. I'm glad I caught you. Pardon? I've always wanted one of those. You have? Oh, yeah. An ornamental back scratcher of my very own. It's perfect. Here you go. Oh, thank you very much. Ah, oh, well. All's well that ends well. Dan's happy. Jeannie's happy. <laughs> and we've got the ruby. Fancy you thinking Jeannie was a real genie. Me? Rather foolish, if you ask me. I mean... Oh, she's head. It was a chess piece. You wouldn't say that if you knew it was a genie's lamp. I wouldn't, but I don't, and it isn't, so I won't. No, but if you did, but you wouldn't, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, you wouldn't. It's not going to come. Uh, I don't know your name, Dave. I'm having trouble selling this old lamp, are we? I'm having trouble with my basket now. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's yourself. Trouble yourself. 